Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I have an Ulta points haul. So everything that I got here was under 15, I wanna say. I had 2,000 points saved up. My mom had 2,000 points saved up. So we went a little over, like I think she went maybe $9 over and I went like $3 over, something like that. So not too much at all, but I wanted to show you all of the goodies and we timed it just right. She let me use all of her points. We timed it right. So one of the purchases came with this gift with purchase and one of them came with this gift with purchase. So yes, it is a little longer because these are crazy gifts with purchase, but I wanted to show you everything that we picked up and kind of talk through it. So yeah, uh, keep watching if you're interested. And before I start, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, liking a video really does help out small youtubers so much and then also leave me a comment Let me know what you've picked up if any of these were things that you were interested in. Let me know down below So first up I picked up two of these I was close to the 125 So I was like trying to get right around there. This is why I went a little over these are the miss spa clear blemish patches with salicylic acid There's two strips of 12. So you have 24. I really like the Peter Thomas Roth acne dots but these were pretty like quite a bit cheaper I want to say so I wanted to give these a go I find that the ones that have salicy salicylic acid work so much better than just the hydrocolloid ones because I don't really have the like gooey ones that that pulls out they're more of the ones that uh, need need that salicylic acid if that makes sense and this was during one of the like you know, for the diamond and platinum people, I have diamond this year. My mom has platinum. No, she's the middle tier. I'm the highest tier because I was really close to the highest tier. So I just bumped it up a little bit. And usually like you can tell we cut back because in years past, we've both been diamond. Yes, diamond. And we were not this year, but they did have some sales. And that's when I put in the one order. So I picked up an Woma, I think is how you pronounce it, blush. And this is the Double Take Skin Perfecting Blush Duo. I picked up White Pearl. These were 40% off and I, did I need a blush? No, I have so many blushes. It's ridiculous, like honestly ridiculous. But that's what it looks like. So it's almost like, could be a highlighter and blush in one. And then we'll swirl them together. So I'll show you three swatches. It is very light and it didn't really make too much of a difference I don't think so that first one is that cool tone matte then you have the shimmery peach and then you have I guess you can see a difference it doesn't look yeah it does now I'm looking at it I can see a difference so those will be interesting to try the next thing I picked up was this this set was I don't know it was quite on sale anyway this is the dime perfume sample set and you have i love your smell baby lovely sweet dreams malibu nights seven summers and dance le bois and i heard that some of these are supposed to be like i've been seeing advertisements on my like instagram feed that these are dupes and i'm not really sure what they're dupes of so i will be looking that up i will be doing a video on this sample set i have a couple other sample sets that i want to kind of do as well so i did pick up that and they're just you know regular oh they are frosted glass so that's kind of cool that's a little different anyway i had a couple of these on my scent bird queue and i this was cheaper to try them instead of you know spending $18 because that's basically what Scentbird is now uh, to try something that I'm not sure if I'm going to like. So I like that this was even smaller and it was uh, it was a good price if I remember right. Then I picked up two of these. I think these were 40% off. I want to say they were 40% off. I picked up two Tree Hut scrubs. I love Tree Hut scrubs and these two sounded awesome. So we have Cotton Candy I have had this one in the past and I did like it. It's not my favorite favorite. I think strawberry is still my favorite, but, and, and I really like watermelon and I really like pineapple. I like, I like a lot of them. Anyway, these being on sale were a good deal. And I thought this would go with some of my body care for Bath and Body Works that I have that I will be 
not my current project, use it up but the next one. And then candied lemon as well. And I just, I wanted to get these when they were on sale because they're, they have gone up quite a bit in price recently, especially because they become more popular. I hate it when it does that. Mm, this one does smell good. It does have a very strong lemony scent to it. So happy to have had to have gotten both of those. This guy was the gift with purchase. So this is the Olaplex Hair Perfector Number no. 3 Repairs and Strengthens All Hair. So you put it on and then you have to rinse it off. Leave it on for at least 10 minutes after you have damp child dried hair. So I probably actually will pass this along to somebody because I don't have patience for that. And it's not really like the type of hair stuff that I go for, if that makes sense. So yes. And then the next thing I picked up, I didn't realize that there was more of these or I would have picked up the rest of them. And now I need to try to find them. This is the OPI and Barbie movie collaboration. And these are Hi Barbie which is the pink and then this is bond voyage to reality there's i think four more shades there's a yellow and a blue and a light pink i want to say so i will be picking those up not because of the barbie movie i i haven't seen the barbie movie i i i feel like i'm the only person who has no desire to see the barbie movie um just i love barbie and barbie has been such an integral part of my life like I have collected Barbies for as long as I can remember and I remember you know longing for collector Barbies I should show you like my favorite Barbies in my collection anyway like there was a Barbie that I wanted so bad as a kid and I wanted it for years and years and years and I finally got it as an adult much cheaper than I was originally thank goodness uh but like I have loved Barbie and I just felt like everything that I watched about the Barbie movie like the trailers just it it didn't feel like my Barbie and I want to keep... yeah anyway so I have no desire to watch the Barbie movie but I am all for all the Barbie movie merchandise because I am a Barbie lover I have you know if you've watched this channel you've been here you know that I've picked up every Barbie collaboration makeup collaboration that I could find my nail polish is uh, this pink is actually Walgreens did a Barbie line of makeup and I picked this up when I was in Orlando the one time I was in Orlando so it was like 2016 I want to say this came out and yeah so I have been collecting Barbie my entire life and even though I don't really want to see the movie maybe maybe you know years later I will want to see the movie but anyway yes I did pick up some of the stuff don't ask me a bit about the movie because I didn't see it but I also picked up the NYX, this uh, vault. I thought as soon as this came out, I was like, I, I want to get it. And then it seemed like it sold out super fast. So this is what it looks like. It's just, I was very surprised that it's just, you know, a flat graphic. Usually you can see the products inside and they're like displayed, but nope, they didn't do that. I don't know if they did Barbie brushes and I missed the Barbie brushes because I don't, those weren't in there and then they have like the perfumes over here on this side but I don't think they did perfumes at least NYX did it. I do have the Zara Barbie perfume on its way so that will be in my next perfume haul. Okay so inside when you opened it and I did like double check everything in here you just they had a piece of tissue paper that kind of laid over everything which was weird because you like pulled everything out of here so and it's actually a fairly thin box, you know, like it's, they're minimal on the packaging. Stay. Uh, so first up you have the Barbie lashes and I'm not going to be open the Barbie lashes cause they're, they're not something I normally use. And then you have these jumbo eye pencils. You have Barbie and Ken. So you have a pink and a blue once again, just for display and in my world then we have some lip products so there are three of them and I'll show you the packaging so it does say Barbie the movie it has little flamingos on it very very cute this is a matte lip cream and this is in the shade dreamhouse pink we will try these because I might use these that is a pretty shade and 
you know, even if I use them, I will definitely be keeping them for the packaging. And then we have a second one. This is Perfect Day Pink. And I do like the matte lip creams. I have several of them. And this one seemed a little bit separated, which you shouldn't have at this point. So that kind of reminds me, I feel like it's similar to one that I already have. And then there's also a butter glass. I'm not going to open this because I don't like the butter glass formula. So I'm sorry, I'm not swatching this one. But it has the clear on the top and it just says Barbie all over it. But since I know I won't be using this, I want to just leave it in its packaging. Then we have this little guy. This is a phone uh, mirror. And the packaging, once again, like the packaging is cute. It's not super uh, fancy, but it says objects and mirrors are cuter than they appear. It does look like a flip phone. And then it says, hi, Barbie, on it. Um, you can see my microphone. So it's almost the size of a phone, actually, like a real flip phone, if you are ancient enough to remember those. Then we have our face palette. And for right now, I'm not going to swatch these either because I don't know when I'm going to get around to using them because I have basically planned out all of my makeup through the end of the year. I know, I'm crazy. Uh, so this has like a very orangey bronzer. Okay, I don't have scissors. I was going to try to open it. I don't have scissors with me. I don't feel like running around trying to find scissors, so I'm sorry. Uh, but it does have a blush at the top for sure. And then it has like a highlighter. And then this kind of, I would say it's more, I would not say it's a bronzer. I would say it's definitely like a peachy orangey blush. Uh, yeah, it just says, a cheek palette so I would I would say that's definitely an orangey blush and then finally we have two palettes they did have all of these wrapped in bubble wrap the palettes so that is nice this first one is the kingdom palette and in here you have a little butter gloss and it is a clear butter gloss it is so cute like, look at how tiny it is. And then you have the palette that looks like a boom box, or I guess maybe whatever they call when you're, you're a DJ. Uh, DJ tray, I don't think DJ tray is correct. But, and then it says, Can't turn up the Kennergy. And you have six shades of there. I actually really like these shades. Um, not the blue. Blue's not my shade, but I could see myself using the other ones. We'll see. I might use this eventually, but for right now, this is going in my little Barbie makeup display. That's that one. And then the final one, it looks kind of like a wallet, and it's the Barbie palette, and you also get a butter gloss. They're packaged, like, oddly. But you do get a butter gloss. It is a pretty pink shade. It's called tiramisu. And you have, oh, so these are called eye pigments. That's interesting. And inside, it says it's a Barbie party. And once again, you have some really nice shades. I don't know if this is the most Barbie palette. Like the brown doesn't really scream Barbie to me. Or like this color, I, I don't know. Like it's a very neutral palette with a peach and a pink. So actually, I think they did a better job on Ken's palette. I think Ken's palette is more interesting. So yes, uh, one and four are eye pigments. And then two, three, five, and six are face pigments. Interesting. Interesting. We're going to look at what the Ken palette says really fast. So Ken palette says... Uh, Face pigments are one, two, and three, and then four, five, and six are eye pigments. Yeah. All right, the next big purchase, and this was like, I think, I might have gotten these two together for the one thing, and the rest of it all came in another one. So this is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is the Summer Vibes. I really wanted this one. Uh, because the bottle is fabulous. It is one of the prettiest bottles I've ever seen, even though it's kind of a plain shape, but the design on it is beautiful. I think it's the best that they've ever done for this line. This does smell pretty good. It's not super different than the original light blue. 
I probably like it a little bit more than the original light blue. I don't own light blue. I've gone through like a travel spray of it and mini samples. So I do like it. I am happy to have it for the bottle to be all in all honesty. And I will be talking about this more in depth. I have been working through the month of July on a 30 and 30. So I've been keeping track of all the perfumes and trying to wear 30 like summer scents. So that will be coming in August, early August. So that, so this will be mentioned in that video. So look for that. All right, we've come to the fun part. We have our free gifts with purchase. So we have the pink and this is like a terry cloth. I was not expecting that. It is really cool feeling. And then this is huge and this is heavy, this daisy bag. And I love that it has a handle. Like, I'm so excited. We're gonna start with the pink one though. They had three choices for this one. I got the pink because I was just, I don't know, I was feeling the pink. So first up, we have a Mega Sleek Shea Butter Conditioner from Matrix. I wonder if they have the matching shampoo in there. Yes, they do. Thank goodness. Uh, definitely will use that. I have been using a lot of shampoo and conditioner samples this summer. Then we have a Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant from Dry Bar. I want to read about this really fast. So this is for, uh, you're supposed to blow dry and then it, use a curling iron or hot tool. I do not use any tools on my hair, so I will be passing that one along. Then we have a sunscreen from e.l.f. This is the Woe Glow 30 uh, sunscreen. It is, it is, it's been, it's been through something. Oh my gosh. Oh, so yeah, poor Woe Glow. I will definitely use that, but both the box, like the boxes, Looks like it got sat on a little bit, but we got that. We have from Lancome, this is the Seals Booster Mascara Primer. I never use mascara primers, so I will pass that along. We have the OC Ondaria Collagen Body Lotion. Interesting. I have had, tried a few things from them. They always have really nice packaging because they always have glass bottles, which I think is awesome. I don't need any more lotions, but I will, I will use it. Then we have the Bubble Bubble Dry Spun Texture Spray. I probably will pass this along as well because I just, I I like wearing my hair in a bun because it's easy and I don't, I don't have patience for that. So I will pass that along. Then we have a Dionysus Foot Cream. This is the Soul Keeper for Rough Callus Crack Beak. That will be awesome. I will definitely use that. I might give it to my mom because she, she has rough heels. Then we have a deluxe tan remover, self tan removing and priming gel. I'll probably give this to my friend who likes to self tan because I feel like she, she might make a mistake. She might want that eventually. Oh, I didn't really show you. It's Loving Tan is the brand. We have a Longwear Metallic Cream Eyeshadow. I'm going to pass that along because I do have issues sometimes with, with liquid eyeshadows. They will burn my skin. So same with like glitter, like when face glitter was all the rage. Glitter is fine. It's the binding agent that will cause reactions. Like I had burns, chemical burns on my face because of it. Uh, Bioma moisturizing gel cream. Ooh, that will be nice. And what I started doing, I started this last year is I got those little dots that you like people use for the yard sale pricing and stuff. And I've just been putting those on all of my skincare with the year that I get it so that I know when to like, what's the oldest to use up. Then we have from Benefit, a 24 hour brow setter. Is this the invisible? Yes, so it is in the invisible one. I will I will use that. I just use a clear brow gel. I don't really need to, but if they keep sending me samples and stuff, I will keep using it. We have a Dermalogica Daily Milk Foliant Calming Oat-Based Powder Exfoliant. I will show you this bottle. I'm not gonna probably keep this. I've tried a different version of this and I just, I wasn't a big fan of it. It's a cute bottle though. And the size is pretty good. I'll pass that along. Then we have from Versace, this is Dylan Purple. I love this fragrance. I did purchase this earlier this year and oh my gosh, I worn it a lot. I've went through a decant of it already and it is wonderful. Then we have Dose of Wisdom from Flossy Bouncy Skin Reactivating Serum. That will be interesting to try. 
it's just it's just a little guy we have an exfoliating and conditioning foot balm from Exuviance. so that's interesting to like foot cream things CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion with sunscreen I think I'll pass that along because I don't think I'm going to get to that and since I have sunscreen I'd rather have somebody else use it a photo finish primerizer hydrating primer from Smashbox I don't think I've tried that version we have an origins ginseng uh, energizing gel cream I do like this I've used it in the past and then there is a good molecules niacinamide brightening toner uh, just a little guy so that was that was pretty good for all of the stuff in there let's move on to the giant bag it is crazy big first up we have a Cosrx, a master patch intensive with tea tree oil and salicylic acid they are the hydrocolloid but they do have act active ingredients in it so i'm going to i will definitely use those we have a hot tools pro artist heat defense instant detangling mist wonder let me look your first step before styling or using any hot tools yeah it doesn't say some of them say like you can uh air dry so i will pass that one along same ardell net or active lashes i i I probably should use false lashes more, but I just don't. Then we have a Fix Plus Magic Radiance. This is a hydrating spray with vitamin C. Interesting. We will we will give that a try. Here is a Jane Aridel Smooth Affair Illuminating Glow Primer. I don't think I've tried this one. I have. You know what? I have one of these in my. I think it's the illuminating one too but i have one of these in my primer stash so if i i will try it and if i really love it i will keep that otherwise i'll pass it along but i'm not going to keep the giant thing because we have a super goop play everyday lotion this is a bog this has spf 50 in it then we have from la roche posay this is a tinted mineral sunscreen i'm going to pass that along because i don't really enjoy tinted things this is an spf 50. we have a fresh rose deep hydrating balancing emulsion interesting mm. an emulsion i don't know where to put that in my routine is it like an essence is it like a serum let me know we have a meaningful beauty by cindy crawford my mom was really interested in this this is a night cream she never uses moisturizers though she's She's like a wash my face and eye cream and that's it. We have a Morphe mini continuous setting mist. Okay, I have never tried this, but I'm kind of interested now. We have a Clarins Total Eye Lift. I have, I went through a few of these this past year. This is a good eye cream. I am happy to have that. Then we have a KP Smoothing Body Lotion with 10% AHA. That actually would be really good on my legs. I have little bumps on my legs right now we have a go smile professional white teeth whitening gel I might try this I know my teeth are slightly yellowed but I have very sensitive gums and teeth um, I'm allergic to peppermint so I have to go buy cinnamon toothpaste because otherwise my gums and my tongue get really sore um, and the more I use it the sore they get twice a day equal amounts of this and your favorite toothbrush your to favorite toothpaste we'll try it then we have a sunscreen from Lancome that has a very close expiration date so I'm gonna s I am working on a thing for my friend Patricia and since I know I won't be getting to that by the end of this year because that expires at the end of this year I'm gonna send it to her we have a Lolavi gloss detangling glossing detangler okay we will try that we have from biolage this is a volume boost shampoo and conditioner for fine hair like i said i i love shampoo and conditioner samples we have something from purology this is a strengthening cure conditioner does it have it does have the matching shampoo so that's awesome these lost me like two or three uses so pretty good we have a derma e vitamin c concentrated serum oh, 
that's very exciting. I love vitamin C serums, so I'm always excited to try. That's a pretty good size one as well. We have an Ico uh, Lash Alert Mascara. This is funny because I can tell that there's only mascara in this part. Um, I'm going to pass that along. We have a clean, classic, warm cotton fragrance. I'm not a big fan of this, so I'm going to uh, pass that along. We have a precise pre-cleanse oil removes makeup, sunscreen, and debris from Dermalogica. So um, I'm assuming this is like a face oil. Yes, it's like a oil cleanser. So I will use that. Way body cream, ooh, and Melrose Place. I'm so excited about this, honestly. It, it's kind of a rosy type of scent. I didn't take the little lid off, but you know, I think this is the first foil packet we've gotten in this set so that's amazing this is the clean at zero foam cleanser we'll definitely use that Billie Eilish okay this is a rollerball so maybe I get a little bit more oh that's a good size so this is a 3.5 mil or 0.11 ounces honestly excited about that don't love the look of her bottle but the sample that I had of it I really liked then we have a Benefit Givy Brow. This is in the shade four, which is a warm, deep brown. Not not for me. Diva Curl Frizz Fighting Volumizing Foam. Not, not for me either. So we're passing that along. Here is a Tan Luxe Gradual Illuminating Gradual Tan Lotion. That's a huge bottle. This is 3.38 ounces. I will be passing that along because I, do, I don't sell tan, obviously. Look at me. Uh, we have a clarify and cleanse bar and this has salicylic acid kaolin clay and cacao powder i have another one of these i just never i've never used it it's good molecules it's a full size i'm going to pass it along i actually have some other bar soaps like this that i need to pass on because i'm i'm just I'm probably never going to get around to using them then we have a bondi sands self tanning foam in dark i will be passing that one along too my one friend who loves self-tanning is going to get a lot. We have a Versace Arrows EDT. This is a uh, men's fragrance. And I don't know if I have this in a miniature. If I do, I will put this in my pass along pile. But it's so cute. I love miniature perfume bottles. And I have extensive collection. If you haven't watched, I have two videos on it. My, I redid it and it had even more the second one. We have from NYX, this is another full size. This is the Epic Smoke Liner, Angled Liner and Blender. So that's really cool. And it's in a cool color too. This is Sage Sparks. I just never wear eyeliner. So we're gonna pass that on along. Then we have from Fenty Beauty, it's a gloss bomb. Oh, this is making me happy. Do I need another gloss bomb? N no. Will I use this? Oh, oh yes. This is in the shade Fenty Glow. I love the Fenty lip glosses. It's like one of my favorite formulas. So very excited about that. We have a Olaplex number three. So this is the sample size of that full size that I showed you. Yeah, that was the full size. Full size is 100 mil, sample size is 20 mil. We have an e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I do, I have this in a full size that I have never opened or used. So maybe I'll use this one and see what I feel and then and then if I don't like it, then I'll pass along the full size. That's what we'll do. All right, we have another facial lotion from CeraVe and this also has sunscreen in it. So I'm going to pass that one along as well. Uh, and then we have a Cots Face Primer Protect Tinted SPF 40 Mineral Sunscreen Facial Primer. I think I'm gonna pass this one along. It's a little, I don't know. Anything that's tinted makes me really nervous because I'm pretty, I'm pretty pale. So I'm probably gonna pass that one along to somebody with a little bit more color. And then this one. Okay, so this one I can use on dry hair as well. This is the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture CC Cream, 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave-In. So many words there. And then the final thing is, is from About Face. This is a matte fluid eye paint. It's so pretty, it's so cute, I love the color. This is the marigold. Do, do I chance it? Do I feel like the matte might be better than the, probably? And it's a sample, so I don't feel quite as bad. So this is in the shade marigold. Let's see. 
That's a pretty color. Okay. Mm, do I like blend it out? Okay, so that's it blended out. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see what happens with that. All right, so that's it. This was a pretty long video because there were so many free samples in there. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you think of my haul. I'll put the totals at the, you probably saw them at the beginning of how much I actually spent on these two orders. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.